wasn't sure, but they took his shirt off, and I was like, uh, he looks like a man, he's that big. That's so probably him. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you, man. I appreciate you. I want to ruin your workout. Oh, no problem, man. Josh Alley here at Greg Long's gym with Universal USA. Uh, today was a typical arm day for my off-season training. First exercise I did today was a preacher curl. Did this on the machine. I like to do this first, really get the blood into my muscles. Um, go really light and slow, meticulous with this. Um, I really have trouble with uh, pulling my muscles, so this exercise really helps get the blood flow going nice and early in the exercise. I don't go too heavy with it, you'll see. I really control and contract each, each movement uh, all the way down to the bottom and all the way back through up to the top. Sometimes I get asked why I hit um, arms together, biceps and triceps, because I know a lot of people do. We'll do chest with tries and back with buys. And um, what I've learned is that giving them their own day has really helped to build them the best for me. When I, I did at one point hit back and buys and chest and tries, and I felt like after I hit my chest, my tries were already annihilated before I could start hitting them. Same with back. So on my chest days, I really try to keep my triceps out of the exercise. And same with back, I really try to pull with my back and my biceps. That allows me to have a full arm day by itself and really focus on those muscles um, instead of focusing on my, on my back and my biceps. I don't only have to focus on my back, chest and tries, I only have to focus on my chest and my arms. I can do an entire day just on my arms. <laughs> Second exercise I did today was alternating dumbbell curls. I like this exercise because it keeps your feet on the ground. It really isolates your biceps so you can't cheat. Um, I did about four sets. And I stayed with 45s all the whole time and go real heavy. This exercise really can straight all the way up through the top, hold it at the top to get your peak movement and all the way back through down through the bottom. Just like with the, uh, with the preacher curls, get the full range of motion. I prefer to do these seated over standing so that I don't use my, uh, my momentum in my body to get the uh, dumbbells up to the top of the motion. This really helps to isolate your bicep and uh, not rock back and forth when doing bicep curls.
Third exercise for biceps was barbell curls. I like to do these towards the end of my bicep once they're uh, pre-exhausted. Try to go a little bit heavier on this. As you see, I didn't really go heavy on anything. Really try to stress on the movement and the contraction of the muscle rather than the actual weight of the movement. But uh, I went my way up to 40s on each side. And this is more, you'll see I do rock a little bit with this movement. This is really just to push up the muscles to absolute max to try to expand it. And so I will go a little bit heavier on this exercise than I will with um, the alternating dumbbells or with the preacher curl. <sighs> has been a combo of weight and also of reps. Um, like you'll see, I don't go extremely heavy, but I will push myself. Some people focus on weight too much, and then on the other end, some people focus on reps too much. So I kind of balance myself in the middle. Um, I'll do some, some high rep exercises, and I'll do some lower rep exercises to really meet right in the middle. And uh, over the years, that's where I've really seemed to help me build my, uh, my arms the best, is to really focus right in the middle, do some, some high rep, for the shape and the condition and do some low rep for really building the mass. You'll see at the end of the barbell curls, I do a drop set, um, and I also will, will move my hands around. My hand placement will differ. Um, the reason of this is just really exhaust the muscle and get different angles on your bicep. The closer in the outer part of your muscle will hit, and that the outer, uh, the more outer your hands are, the inner part of your bicep will hit. So I really like to switch that up throughout. You'll see that throughout the whole time. I really switch my hand movement up um, to hit different pieces of your muscle. First tricep exercise I did was close grip, close grip bench. Um, some days I'll switch from my arm day, I'll start with biceps. Next one I'll start with triceps. This one we start with biceps, so then my first tricep was the, uh, the close grip. I don't go too heavy on this. I had a pec strain a couple weeks ago, so I've been really keeping the movements uh, light and focusing to uh, push, the, push the weight all the way top, through the ceiling to strain on my tricep movement. Um, I went about, did about four sets of this working my way up, and then I also did a, a smaller drop set on these as well. Oh. Second tricep workout I did was rope push downs. I always do a, a push down movement. This time I chose rope sometimes. I use a straight bar, either wide grip or close grip. Um, the rope really helps to strain all the way down through the bottom. You get the full range of mo uh, motion. And at the bottom, I'll tend to, um, to push my hands outwards to hit the, uh, the top of the, the tricep bar. <laughs> Mm. 
tricep exercise, really good for drop sets because the plates are right there accessible. So just drop it three plates, then do a set, drop it three plates, do a set, drop it three plates, and do a set till failure. This really helps to burn out the tricep. The last tricep movement I did was an overhead tricep extension. It was on a machine. It was a, it was a real nice angle um, that you could keep your hands nice and close and focus all the way through your tricep movement, really, um, really focusing on the top of it and holding it and squeezing the, the entire tricep movement. Um, I didn't do a drop step on this. I went a little bit heavier and tried to do a more controlled motion and hold it all the way through the top. I like to end my exercise with a, a giant superset. Um, today, I did straight bar curls and I did the V-bar push down. Um, I'll set the weight on both of them relatively heavy, try to get at least 10 to 12, maybe 15 reps, and then I'll drop it, switch the uh, triceps, hit that for 12 to 15, then I go back and forth all the way till failure. Um, I really don't count on these sets, I really just go till failure, so you'll see sometimes I was getting 15 to 20, sometimes I was getting eight, um, this is really just about exhausting the muscles that you're working today and uh, getting the full, the full extent out of your workout. And um, as you'll see, I went back and forth until I was completely burned out. <sighs> Another tip that I have that really helped me build my muscle, uh, my biceps and my triceps, were to uh, different, di doing different uh, hand placements, um, whether it's on curls um, or if it's on push downs, really um, focusing on which part of the muscle you want to hit and using that hand placement to uh, hit that piece has really helped me out. So going wider on some exercises, going closer on some exercises, doing partial movements at the bottom really helped to hit, hit the peak of your bicep. Um, so really playing around with hand movements can really help build um, your muscles, your biceps and your triceps a lot. Another question I get asked if, is if I hit forearms and um, I'll do a random set here and there on arm day but I really feel like uh, they get hit every single day when you're pressing and when you're pulling um, they get hit on your arm day and I don't use wraps a lot so they'll get hit and, you know whenever you're gripping something you're using your forearms so I don't I don't waste time to hit forearms on their own day or they waste time on my on my arm day to hit forearms because they're already getting hit with every motion that I'm doing.
when I uh, come into the gym, I really don't have a set game plan um, as in I'm doing, you know, four exercises, four sets of each and 12 reps of everything. I really come in and listen to my body and this really worked well for me in the last year or two. Um, as you see on the, um, the close grip bench, I really just started backing off because it didn't feel good. It didn't feel right. The machine didn't feel right. And so I just started backing off. And I feel like a lot of people will come into their workouts and say, I have to do this exercise. I have to do this and I have to do this. And they end up hurting themselves or they're not feeling it in the right places. So I really uh, stress on coming in. And if I'm feeling it, I'll do five or six sets. If I'm not, I'll do two or three and then move on to the next one. So um, for a lot of new guys out there, really listen to your body and what it's telling you. And, you know, if it's not, if you're not feeling it, if you're not getting a good pump, if you're not, if you know something hurts, then just back off and move on to the next thing.